the United States government has issued another travel advisory for its citizens regarding travels to Jamaica. The U.S. authorities cited widespread violent crimes and lack of security and medical infrastructure as the reason for the advisory. In the document, reasons such as widespread crime are present in places not limited to all-inclusive resorts. It also stated that whenever assistance is required from law enforcement, it is usually not available. And whenever it is available, the proper facilities are not in place to assist those in need. It also went on to state that whenever an arrest is made, <laughs> prosecution that led to a conviction is hardly ever present. Not only that, it went on to state that whenever there's a medical emergency, especially if there is a death, in terms of obtaining medical records not limited to death certificates, these time frames can be a long stretch. Now, for those who are quick to say, yo, leave Jamaica alone, everything all right, tell me, where is the lie in this advisory? What point, what point that the U.S. authorities stated in this advisory that is not true. What point have the U.S. authorities posted in this advisory that has not been brought forth by people like myself and others? What point that was brought forth that was not placed on the table in front of our leaders for them to address them? Not one. So now, when you see our food basket being in jeopardy, because we have people who refuse to do the right things. People who refuse to listen. If you are not willing as a leadership brass of a nation to provide proper medical facilities for your own people, why would a foreign country trust you with those their people? Why would a foreign nation trust you with their people? That's common sense, you know? If you would not treat your picnic good, why should I send my picnic yard? Common sense. So again, point out the lie in that advisory. And when you find the lie, let me know.